Chemistry Notes Part 1 Protons, Neutrons and Electrons in Atoms How to read the periodic table of elements The periodic table of elements is organized by atomic number. The lowest atomic number is on the top row in the left corner and then increases by one as you move left along the row. Once a row is complete you jump to the row below it. Row 1 is a special row as it only consists of two elements, hydrogen and helium, but hydrogen is written twice in this row, once on the left because it often acts as a metal, and once on the right because it also acts as a non-metal. When reading an individual box on the periodic table of elements, each value has a special meaning. It is important you use the periodic table I give you as although there is one universal periodic table these days, where people place these numbers moves around quite a bit. The atomic number is in the top left corner, this is the number that increases by 1 as you read across your periodic table, central is the symbol for each element. Notice that the first letter is always capitalized, if there is a second letter it is always lowercase. The ion, ionic charges are given. This does not means this element only exists as an ion, just that it can, and when it does these ionic charges are the options available. The atomic mass or atomic weight should always be rounded to the nearest whole number in your work. All elements currently known can be found on the periodic table of elements. There are some elements missing from your periodic table as it is a little out of date. Elements, U, Unun Trium is now Nihonium, UUP, Unun Pentium is now Moscovium, UUs, Unun Septium is now Tennessine, and UUO, Unun Octium is now Aganesin. These elements were thought to theoretically exist and were given unin names. But when they were proven to exist by many scientists through their work in the early 2000s, that work was then scrutinized and judged credible by other scientists in 2016. Elements are the smallest building blocks of matter that are uniformly the same. For example every atom of aluminum in an aluminum can is exactly the same. Break that atom apart and the parts that make it up are different from each other. Elements can exist as an atom or an ion. Today we are talking about atoms. An atom has no charge overall or a charge of zero. Whereas an ion has either a positive or negative charge overall. Some elements can exist as multiple ions, with different charges. For example manganese can exist as, manganese, 2, with a 2 plus charge, manganese, 3, with a 3 plus charge or manganese, IV, with a 4 plus charge. Both atoms and ions are made of three parts. Protons have a positive charge. A single proton has a charge of 1 plus. Notice that in chemistry unlike math class the plus and minus sign goes behind the number. This is because the universal protocol, used by scientists all over the world, was not developed by English-speaking scientists. Neutrons have a neutral charge, a single neutron has a charge of zero. Lastly electrons have a negative charge. A single electron has a charge of one. Protons, neutrons and electrons are so tiny that scientists needed to create a new unit of mass to measure how much each particle weighed. So they decided as they were looking at atoms that unit of measure would be called atomic mass units or AMU for short. A proton was decided to have the weight of 1 AMU, to make life easy while working in this new mass unit. It turned out that neutrons also weigh the same as a proton so they are also 1 AMU electrons however are closer to 1 2,000th the size of a proton and so their mass is negligible and considered a mass of zero. Imagine that your house is a proton, then an electron would be the mass of a cell phone. You could add a 100 cell phones to your house but the mass would not really change in a meaningful way. The atomic number is the name given to the number of protons in an atom or ion of the element. Proton number equals the atomic number. Any atom or ion that has 21 protons has to be scandium. I know this because when I look up atomic number 21 on my periodic table it is scandium. By definition, any element with 21 protons must be scandium is an element with 21 protons. In atoms, the rule for the electron number is simple. It is different in ions, but for this week we will only look at atoms. We know that in atoms the overall charge of the particle is zero. We know that each proton has a 1 plus charge and each electron has a 1 minus charge, while neutrons do not affect the charge. Therefore to have an overall charge of zero, every proton must have an electron to balance it. So in atoms, atomic number equals electron number. Neutrons do not have charge so we cannot use the same trick we used for electrons. But neutrons do have mass. We know that each proton has a mass of one atomic mass unit, and each neutron has a mass of one atomic mass unit, while electrons have none. This means the entire mass of an element is only made out of protons and neutrons. 
Since each proton weighs 1 and each neutron weighs 1 we know that the number of neutrons and the weight of neutrons is the same thing. The same is true for protons. Therefore the number of protons subtracted from the total mass leaves you with the number of neutrons. Number of neutrons equals the atomic mass minus the atomic number. Note, always round your atomic mass and your number of neutrons. There is no such thing as an atom with 10.2 neutrons. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.